Hello everyone to part three on my neural networks in MQL5. Um, we are going to be doing the update values and the train the prediction functions. So let's do that. So let's jump right into it. So we're going to say void um, update values, update values because we need values to actually plug into the uh, neural network. So int shift. Okay, and then we're going to do the void train int shift. And that int shift comes from the updating values. And then the last one is the double Prediction, prediction. Okay. All right, there we go. Now all we have to do is write them. Let's go to the first one, which is void WNN. Code resolution to say update date values. And now we want to fill the uh, array that we have, the close, with some values and also set the y correct. So we're going to do that with a few loops for int i equals zero i less than m underscore depth plus five i plus plus close I equals I close M underscore symbol M underscore time frame I plus shift. There we go. M underscore input dot init one M underscore depth actually I want to put this in the constructor let's put that no 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 it's fine it's fine. And then for int i equals zero plus one. And we're gonna show why we're doing this. This may not make sense to some people, but it, it helps the notation, it helps the eyes. I m underscore depth plus one plus one i plus plus and then m underscore inputs zero Um, I minus one equals close I and then we can just basically copy and paste this and do it for the prediction 
so let's say I pred pred input um, same thing it's gonna be I equals zero and underscore depth and we're going to get rid of this guy right here and that's why we do that and then y underscore correct equals sgn close so the current minus the previous um And we're going to add one to it because it's either negative one or one. So now it's going to be either zero or two. And now it's going to be either when we divide by two, it's either going to be zero or one, which is our target. Okay. Let's hit compile. Let's hope we're good. We're good. All right. Now we're going to do the uh, train and then finally the prediction. So void WNN train. And we're going to set a boolean bool train underscore condition equals true. We're going to update the values with the current shift. And then we're going to say while train condi train condition while this is true it's going to do all this magic and we're going to say m underscore y hat equals forward propagation double j equals the cost and we're going to say if <clears throat> the cost j is less than m underscore alpha which is our train threshold the condition is false actually let's do it like this um yeah train condition equals false and then we just need to do the back propagation the back propagation is the secret sauce so I'm not going to go over the derivation of it it's like some uh, calculus but this is the result for this particular uh, setup x underscore m underscore matrix equals y underscore correct matrix cost cost equals negative one times x underscore m matrix minus m underscore y hat So we're doing pretty good. We're getting a lot done. 
matrix Z three underscore prime equals matrix 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 sigmoid prime M underscore Z three. That's why those things are public because they need to be uh, their member variables because they need to be accessed in this calculation. So matrix delta three equals cost dot matrix multiplication with Z underscore three prime matrix D J D W two equals M underscore A dot transpose so this just flips the matrix along the diagonal <clears throat> transpose dot mat mult matrix multiply delta 3 all right, we're almost there. We got one more set to write matrix Z underscore two underscore prime equals matrix matrix sigmoid prime M underscore Z two. And then there's a delta matrix, delta, delta two is equal to delta three dot matrix multiplication weight underscore two dot transpose um, and then we're going to do dot product z underscore two prime okay and then the last one matrix is D J D W M underscore input um, tra transpose dot matrix mat multiply matrix multiply delta 2 so there we go <clears throat> now we have a number of optimization uh, options we could use uh, Nelder Mead we could use all these fancy uh, uh, optimization methods that are not built in to uh, MQL5, we're going to opt for some really, really basic uh, stuff. We're going to say M1 equals uh, M1, sorry, W1 equals W1 minus the derivative DJ DW. Or, this is all we're going to do. It's not super sophisticated, but it gets the job done for what we're doing. 
and yeah. Now the only thing that we need to do is set the, let's back this up a bit. Now the only thing we need to do is set the long short term memory cell. We're gonna say wait one LSTM equals M underscore input times matrix multiplication weight underscore one. And that's all we need for the training. So finally, um, we are going to do the prediction, which is just the, uh, meet the forward propagation. Um, but but with new with new values so um let's go here i think so it's going to return a double uh we're going to say um w n n we're going to call it prediction i say prediction and we're going to say matrix pred z underscore two equals m underscore pred input dot matrix multiplication. We're going to say weight underscore one. And we're going to say plus weight underscore one LSTM. Matrix pred A2 equals matrix sigmoid pred z2 and then we're going to do oops control z um another matrix multiplication matrix pred underscore z underscore three equals pred a two dot matrix multiplication of course what else w underscore two and then matrix pred underscore y hat equals matrix nope matrix sigmoid pred z3 and then all we have to do is return m underscore y hat zero zero and i think that's qbd i think that's done i want to make sure i got everything done um Let's see. Yep, that's it right there. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. In the next video, we're going to use this implementation of a neural network to predict um, M the, the prices, right? We're going to do a trading algorithm, a trading bot.
so that's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Stick around for the next. It's going to be a lot of fun.